Okay, guys, this AdSense account was uh, deactivated. I was supposed to re record the part where I reactivated it just now, but I, I didn't know my recording software wasn't on. So, but there was just a button around this axis where they asked me to activate. I just clicked on it and it brought me to this feed page and it said I should connect my site to AdSense. So, um, this uh, um, site was already activated for AdSense before. So, I guess I have to redo all the whole processes again. But that is not the main reason why I'm here. The main reason why I'm here is because number one, the assets got deactivated because um, the address verification delayed, you know, and then they're asking for all, for tax um, details too. So, but so in order for me to fill the tax details, I will go to under come to payments, present on home. I'll go to payments uh, info, and then they will see I will see a red bar. Okay. Uh, oh, even the tax info, I, I, I missed it because it asked me for tax details just now and I submitted it. And that was when I, I remembered that my software wasn't on, so I rushed to put it on. And uh, I see it has already submitted on its own accord. So well, let me click on view tax info. Let me see the, what it filled out for me. So it says that me accepted. So unfortunately, I wanted to show you this test. But I noticed that there's another tax info it's asking me to submit again. This one. This top one name it as Ireland. This other one is named it as United States. So let's click on add tax info and let's see. So let me click on start form. And uh, I notice I think that is a new update from them where you have to to impute um, um two tax details, Ireland and then United States. So I'll pause this video to impute my password. So I've imputed my password, so it's trying to load up the, the tax form. So it's we are here. It's asking me if it's individual or individual. I say it's an individual tax, and I click on next. Say, am I a citizen? I say no. I'm not a citizen of the United States. Then next, it says, uh, it said this form is commonly by non-US individuals who would also and and would also be used to claim tax treaty. I'm not interested in any tax treaty. So this form is mostly used by non-US business and individual that any income related to its US trade or business and files US um, tax return. So I'll go with the first one, then I'll click on start WHVN form. So it took some time to load up, but yeah, we are finally here. It has already filled the name automatically by itself for me. So it said, am I doing business as name or disregarded entity and it's optional, so leave it blank. So control of citizenship, I would select uh, Nigeria and then my tax application number they are both optional and I don't even have so I click on next so it will automatically impute my address for me because I already feed my address before so I'll see my mailing address same as my um, permanent residence so I'll click on next of course when you are filling your your applying for AdSense you always you always enter address as the first step So it say, am I uh, claiming a reduced rate of tax withholding? I say no, and I'll click on next. So it's saying, am I doing activities within the United States? I say no, and I'll click next. I say I certify, and I'll click next. So it say, do I want the uh, paperless? delivery or want to get it by me so i want to collect delivery so i accept um delivery agreement and i'll click on next so i confirm and i'll click on next so i will just tax tick all these uh, form I acknowledge that I'm beneficial owner and I'll click on submit. So that's it guys. Let's just wait for it. It's going to show a successful page. So that's it guys, has me approved.
and if I go to my Gmail, I also get a, a message that uh, I just submitted my tax. So that's it, guys. Your payment information just changed. That's it, guys. So, cheers.